Hey y'all, so I know it's been a little while since I've been on here, just give you a heads up of why. I have had family staying with me for the last month. <laughs> and we live in a small three bedroom house and there was nine of us here. So let's just say it was a little hectic, but I did get a couple things finished. Not a lot, but I did get a few things finished. Um, the first thing I got finished is the modified muscle bird. Where I find it? Okay. Anyway, it's a modified muscle bird. So, or Mercer Burrow by Gazelda Teague. I'm sure everybody knows this powder. But instead of making it double sided, I just did the one side and did a rib and cast it off. Um, this used 57 grams of. It was acrylic. It was by Loops and Threads. I, I've had that yarn forever, but it was a Loops and Threads colorway from. A kit from Dollar General from a few years back. So I've had that for a while. But that's the first finished object for April. <laughs> April, okay. Oh, and I got some from March. I haven't even showed you. I finished April, so then I'll show you March's. This is the first one for April. Um, I finished a crochet hook hanger. I did not bring it with me because it's hanging on my wall. But it looks... It's made out of kind of like a macrame. It's knotted and it has like glass jars hanging in it. It has like three tiers with glass jars and hooks hanging in it. I don't, it's not crochet or knit, so I forgot all about that one. And then the third finished object for April is my own design. It is drench socks. <laughs> so this is made from stroll fingering. The red is colorway strawberry it's stroll from knit picks the green so i can find it everything's just jumbled right now i'm sorry it's just been it's been a couple months peapod is the green and then the white i believe is just white yep just white but it's got the stripes and then it's got a duplicate stitch heart on it ow my cat just bit me Quick, quick. Anyway, this is what they look like. Aren't they cute? But this is my own pattern. It is on Rivalry at the moment. I don't remember if I put it on Etsy, but I know they're just the Grinch inspired socks. That's what they look like. I was so happy with those. And then the next finished object that I actually finished while they were here. So the next couple things were April not a whole lot and I just made some well I didn't even read the ends into that one some loop scrunchies from my little girls just some leftover yarn um this is ice yarn scraps this is ice yarn scraps it's the saver ice yarn saver and this I only had a little bit left so it's not as thick and poofy as the other ones but this was the lion brand ice cream yarn I don't remember what colorway it was it's been a while since i had it and like i said it was just scraps so i did make three of those for my little girl i just gotta leave them these ends and then that is all the finished objects i did for april but for april i used up 97 grams of yarn i did not buy any yarn so all i did was used up 97 grams but i've also did a lot of spinning you see I'm using this. I'm sure y'all recognize this. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. I don't don't remember what it's called. But you see I've been spilling it on the spindle with that one. I'm using I'm making a lace weight yarn. See this one is full. I got to wind it onto a nitty knotty. Can't see the colors very well, but it's pretty. Here's one of them that is done. Maybe it's because anyway. That's what that looks like. I did a lot of spinning and then this big cake <laughs> have spun all of this so I did a lot of spinning while my family was here a lot of spinning while they were here <laughs> um so I did do that so for March let me go ahead and show you the things I used up for March that I did not show you yet and it is my little boy's blanket it is made out of my grandma's yarn it was just left over mostly red heart she passed away a couple years ago from COVID. 
So I made him with this blanket, I just yarn scraps. And it is the Ripple Baby blanket. It's a free pattern. Um, and I just used two strands held together. I did not use the hooks recommended or anything like that. I just followed the pattern, did a big hook, double strands of yarn, and this is what he's got. So he's in love with it. Um, I think this used up 1200 grams, I believe. Yeah, just about 1200 grams for that blanket. So that used up a pretty good bit of yarn. And then my last finished object for March is the flax tee, which is a sweater. It's a flax sweater, but I did it as a t-shirt. And honestly, I love it better as a t-shirt. My little boy has a flax sweater. He loves it, but I, I personally like the tee better. And this is the Premier Chameleon. So it looks white. But as soon as it goes out in the sun, it turns into a purple. Ooh. My robot don't know what it's doing. Anyway, but in the sunlight, it turns purple. I do not know if they still carry this yarn. When they first came out with it, I got some. And it turned, like, it has a bad smell. It has a real salt chemical smell. Well, I've washed it twice. And then I've had it just sitting out and now you can't smell it anymore, but it was a very strong chemical smell. So I'm not sure if they have this anymore, but this is chameleon and it is super soft. You see how drapey this is? Like it's super comfortable. I love girls wore it a couple times. So I do love the yarn. Just, you gotta get past the chemical smell, but that is one of my favorites. I will be making some more of the t-shirt version of them, but that was my last one for March and that shirt used up 148 grams. So in March, I used up a total of 3,501 grams and I did not buy anything in March. And then go on to a May. I do have a finished object for May. My finished object for May <laughs> is I'm calling it finished, but I didn't actually completely finish it. It is the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along from last year. These, I hated doing these, so I cut them short and then I just cast off, bound off, whatever. They do have some pretty texture patterns in it this time. Um, and it's supposed to have a fringe. Now, I did not do the fringe. I hate doing fringe. I did not do the fringe, but this is what it looks like. I think it turned out really pretty. I don't wear a lot of scarves, um, but I do like making shawls just because they're pretty. And this used up 303 grams. And I used Hobie Rainbow, the 8-4, which is a fingering weight, I believe. Yeah, it's number one, so yeah, fingering weight. And the blue I used color number 79. The gray is color, well the dark gray is color 10. And the light gray I used is color 14. So these are the colors I used for it. And I do like the rainbow cotton. So I got fuzzies in my face. <laughs> so there's that. And then I do have a couple projects I am working on. I do have a ripple bralette that I am working on. Let's see. I'm working on one of the straps. This is the ripple bralette. Uh, by Jessie Mae Design, I believe. I'm sure everybody just about knows this pattern. But I've made it before. I like it. So now I'm making it again. And I don't have the yarn label with me. But this is Yarn Bee Cozy Toes. You can get it from Hobby Lobby. And so far, I've only used one skein, but you see, I'm at the end. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to use another one to finish it up. So, but we're almost done with it. So that is one of my works in progress. I do have one more thing I've been working on. 
Yeah, just literally one thing I've been working on. And that is a blanket. I cast it on yesterday. It's crocheting it. So it's this long double ended crochet hook. Um, if you pay attention, this side is more white, this side is more blue. So this is what I've been working on lately. The blue color is this right here. It's a little itchy. I've had it for a while. I don't know what what I was gonna do with it, and then I was like, you know, I want to make a blanket. But I just don't, I don't want to make any blanket. I want to crochet it <laughs> blanket. So I just grabbed this and paired it with some. What is this called? Macaron. This is Ice Ron's Macaron. Macaroon Macaron. It's not gonna focus. My camera. I got a new phone. It's not one to work right. But it is label. It's all kinds of jacked up. But this is macaron. The white color is macaron from Ice Yarns. I have had a lot of that over the years. And this one, it don't really say what it is. It just says Sale Cakes Yarn. It was just one of them that was on sale. Didn't really have a label. It just says Sale. But it is pretty. It is a little scratchy. It is a four strand thing. So you got this orange thread thing. You got a blue fluffy one, a white fluffy one, and another orange and blue stripey one. But it's pretty. And it's working up pretty. But it's got wool and stuff in it, so I will not be gifting this blanket to anybody. It will be just one for my house. So that's what I've been working on the most. Now, oh, one more product I've been working on. I forgot. I just started this one. Um, let me get it. Get the board. There it is. It's in the very bottom. Literally, I just started it. <laughs> so, this is all I've got. <laughs> okay, so this is the Ocean Tide Party. It's by Evelyn and Peter. That's what it looks like. It's so cute. Um. Anyway, I am using, I bought just a kit off the of Lion Brand. And the recommended thing was 24-7 cotton in the DK and let me be honest I am loving this cotton it's smooth it's soft it's drapey so far I'm loving this cotton I've never had it before but I just got it in the black because I do have a lot of like strappy summer dresses but I I feel fat and I don't want I don't want to be exposed so I'm making this to go over top of some of them I got a quinceanera I got to go to in September in Texas and they're saying you wear summer dresses. So I'm wearing a summer dress and then this is gonna go over top of it. And so far, I like the yarn. So that's my last work in progress that I've been working on. Literally just started it too. Um, and then, yeah. So far this month, I've only used up 303 grams of yarn because I don't count the yarn I've used until I finish the project. So I would just add it to whichever month I've did. So this month I've only used 303 grams, but I did some purchases. So I bought three of these for that party, which is, they're all 100 grams, I believe. Yep, 100 grams, so that's 300 grams I bought. Then I also bought some Kobu which is also 100 grams. I bought four of these. So that's 700 grams. <laughs> which this, I got this for something specific. I'm gonna make a tank top, a crochet tank top, which I have not printed out the pattern, but when I do, I will show it to you. Hopefully next month whenever I do what I made. And then this is the last thing I purchased for this month. Oh, it's not coming twisted. And this is Yarnable. I do get this every once in a while. And I did just happen to get it this month. And this is the, let's see, the May colorway, Berry Citrus Bliss. And look how pretty that is. It's so bright and colorful. My little girl loves it. She's already spotted it, so she wants something out of this. But with it being made out of wool, and she's rough on her, her things, I have not decided if I'm going to do that yet or not. So, those are my purchases this month. I've actually made more purchases this month than I did make, making things. But I have not bought things 
in a while and I've used up a lot of yarn in the last couple months so it's fine it's fine I'm just gonna say it's my early Mother's Day gift but that's what I've got going on um hopefully it won't be so long before I get back and hopefully in the next month I will well the end of May which is in two weeks maybe I'll have some more finished projects but until then bye y'all